And a total of 33 weeks as world number one. Four finals so far this year for Wang Shoshiang. There you can see all of her matches, including yesterday's against the number two seed, the reigning world champion, the reaction of Intanon. Had to save four game points in that opening game before she won on her first game point. 24, 22, 21, 10. So to Horn Tip, Borana Prasatsuk, 13 in the world ranking. Third ranked Thailand player. There's one of the Arachinok above her, but also Jindapon, one place above her in the world ranking. So her victory over the number eight seed in the first round, Tai Su Ying, and then defeated the number three seed the 2011 winner of this title, Wang Yihan. Wang Yihan also the 2011 world champion. So to defeat her in three games, just shy of the hour mark. Now this is the official head-to-head. -head. This is the seventh meeting, officially. They did meet each other, apart from the final of that French Open, which I've just been talking about. Did play against each other a couple of times in the World Junior Championships. But I'm not sure that junior events should count towards official head-to-heads, but I think what should count is their encounter in the Asian Games in Guangzhou. And obviously with Wang Xiaoxiang going on to take the gold medal, she obviously won on that occasion. So in my mind, uh, it's actually 6-1, the head-to-head. -head. But of course, the head-to-heads done officially are only done on ranking tournaments. Perhaps a little bone of contention, considering the first two Super Series finals that were played were not ranking events. So results from Super Series finals in 2008 and 2009 don't count towards head-to-heads. Well, she was very impressive yesterday, wasn't she, Jim? Wang Xiaoxiang, we yeah, watched that she, one. She played, um, you know, she played amazing, I think. Not only did she, I think she played a very good tactic against uh, Ratanok. She also, I think, showed different sides of her game. You know, skills-wise, some of the rallies we saw yesterday was amazing. Some of the net shots, she had a little Ladies bit of some deception shots. I think she's been Amara practicing. Wang, she is here in China. And on my left, Play. That would be interesting to see if she keeps that up today. <laughs> Looks like that. No. <laughs> no. Go ahead, that slice forehand worked really well yesterday too. That attacking clear to the to the backhand side of her opponent, not giving them any time to settle, and it goes for for pawn tip as well as Ratchanak yesterday. They have so many good shots from the round head side. to control that that's very very impressive she know exactly how much power to use it great control 
course Wang Shexiang has reached the final of this event previously. That was three years ago in 2010. It's gone long. Horn tip by Anna Prasutsu. This is only her second ever Premier Super Series semi-final. He's a great character, he is. Oh. Yeah, well, it's a perfect start for Wang Shoshian. You can almost see it in her game yesterday that Well, oh. that's that shot again. Oh, this time it's gone long. No, once yeah. again, it was just left stranded. She didn't no. even react to it. No. She was glad to see that going out. Down the back line. Well, that seemed to hold up that way. Yeah. I wonder if the drift has changed a little. Oh. Well, still, the drift is going that way. So what Pontiff should be doing now is she should be hitting into the back coast. Drift will take mm. it in. There's Jonsak Ponsana. Oh. See. And there you see. Three, six. Problem with the depth of the shuttle. Wasn't convinced by the sideline thing. Yeah, you see the drift. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. I, I was confused for a moment on which way the drift was going. Yeah. You're definitely right. But it was also the first time she used that clear phone tip. Uh, and I think she, she has to use it some more. She has to use the drift. She's attacking too much. See, she's in. Wang will work harder on this side. Um, use the back hole some more. Oh, good night shot. Short lift. Yeah. All set up by the wonderful net shot. Five, eight. Pushed it long. Six, eight. And now she knows that pontiff, so. Oh. Oh, she used some more power there. Seven, seven, eight, 
of a pawn tip, it's important to take the net. Force Wang to lift. He's going to have trouble finding the, the back line. Because of the drift. Lovely backhand from Seven, two. That's super shot. It's very interesting, isn't it? I mean, we had the privilege of watching that wonderful match yesterday with Ratchanuk against Wang Xiaoxiang. Now we've got another Thailand player. They've both got very uh, high level of skill, both the Thailand players, but they're very different in their style, aren't they? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, is way more smooth. Yes. Um, where she's more powerful upon tip, but still she's she's got the skills. Um, but a, but a very very different movement. Yeah. Best year so far. Six finals she reached that year, winning five of them. I did think after she won the All England Championship in 2011, I thought she really began to struggle psychologically with the the burden of expectation that we've talked about all week. You become the best in the world. It's everybody's watching you, everybody's learning what your weaknesses are, what your strengths are, and working out a game plan to try and beat you. Sarah? And she had a couple of uh, what I guess she considered poor results. I remember she lost her first match. She was selected number one in the Sudaman Cup in I think it was Qing Dao, the very first yeah. match was against Germany, and she yeah. lost to Juliana Schenk, and she was dropped. And psychologically, then all of a sudden, she started to have doubts, and I think that was yeah. a catalyst to sort of, for her going through a bit of a lean period, really. Yeah, definitely. Oh, you see, if you win the All England at 2000, yeah. 2011, yeah. Well, 2012, the Olympics coming up. Yeah. You know. Mm. That's a, that's a big goal. Yeah. And then not to take anything away from Juliana because she is really playing well and is difficult yeah. for a lot of, she's shown that she's difficult for a lot of the Chinese players to play against. Uh, but I think Julian, I look oh, it's lovely. Top of the yeah, if you're looking for uh, to be from China and you you're looking for to go to the Olympics and win the, the Olympic gold, Ooh. only just caught the line. Uh, yeah. Then you, you you can't be losing to players like Juliana. That's no, just the, the no. level, the, the the bar that you have in. Uh, and I suppose in China. Last year, 2012, between the Asian Championships in April and the Super Series finals in December, Wang Shuxian didn't leave up, live up to her seeded position once no. during that period. And that's perhaps what's, you know, really yeah, you shook the confidence. Yeah, and, and you can kind of say she, put, she, she took herself out of the Olympics, you know, yeah. without the coaches or anybody else. Had she won those games and continued mm. the style from 2011, then... Well. Yeah. And you... <laughs> we're talking on, on a high level here. We're not mm. talking... Well, I... Uh, I was supposed to go to the Olympics. No, we're talking about the one that was picked in front of her, won the Olympic gold. Yeah. So, of course, those thoughts are there as well. Yeah. It's also worked in her favor because prior to the Guangzhou Asian Games in 2010, this young lady was not qualified. 
And Lee Yongbo said to Wang Yihan, you may be world number one, but you've had some bad results. You need to prove yourself again. Yeah. And Wang Yihan was dropped from the Chinese team for the Asian Games. And Wang Shexian took her chance and she ended up with the gold medal. So she's benefited from yeah. uh, the head coach's uh, fairly, what we would perceive as harsh selection yeah. methods and so on. She's benefited once and she's missed out big time once. But she's a point to prove now. Yes, and, yes. and she's proving it very well. But it seems like, it, it's funny, you know, and it, but it just tells you the, the mental yeah, nice shot. aspect of the game, you know. We have two players that are picked, in, they're not supposed to go, but are picked in front of another one, and they go on to win the tournament. Yeah. Well, I suppose looking at it that way, there's, a, there's an argument then for not restricting the number of entries per country yeah. because if, Nine, if you're only allowed the three and and the fourth ranked player in the world doesn't qualify but goes off and wins the olympics because one of the top three isn't selected but i'm not going to get into that discussion i fully support the ioc's only three oh, athletes across the board in all sports only three athletes per nation Nine. per discipline well at the moment this and three one different names <laughs> Wang Yihan, Wang uh, Shexiang, very, very much in control. Yes, he's playing just as we saw yesterday. He's got a good... Oh, <laughs> oh well played, not well played. <laughs> There is Wang Yihan. Fantastic. Well, that's some of the shots we saw her use yesterday. Uh, and I think she's one of the ones that can challenge the Thailand players on the net. We see that net shot there, that's amazing. We saw that yesterday as well. Um, Ponte playing the net, staying up there, and then Wang coming in with a cross. Mm. Uh, very difficult. Ready? So again, points Get have arrived. Just watch how that shuttle's upside down and spinning. It goes over the net. Yeah, super. Finds the line. change your shuttle perhaps hoping it will bring a change of fortune don't think there's any doubt that she'll win one of these seven remaining game points number seven seed yeah there we go fourth time of asking 21 13. Oh, that's a great shot.
างทีเรารีบหยอดนะมันเข้าหน้าเร็วนะแล้วเวลาเราเราหยอดแล้วมันหักก่อนนะมันหักก่อนนะมันหักลึกมันขึ้นลึกบางทีเราขี้หลังซ้ายขวาก่อนแล้วเราคอยระวังมันตัดนะตัดนะเพราะมันโค้งที่ที่มันได้แล้วเราก็เคาะเร็วเร็วสวัสดีเร็วซ้ายขวาเร็วเร็วก่อนนะบางทีกาแบบเราคมเกินอ่าเอาแม่นยำเอาแม่นยำนะแม่นยำนะเออบางครั้งเรารีบหยอดเกินไปมันเข้ามาดักหน้าหมดแล้วมันต้องมีย้ำบ้างย้ำดักบ้างหลังหลังบ้างนะแล้วบางทีก็เลี้ยวบ้างอะไรอย่างเงี้ยนะเล่นแม่นยำหน่อยนะโอเคแล้วอย่าไปตีโดยโดยSecond game, Lobo play. Umpire waiting till exactly the time was up before calling for play to begin. So, given the fact that neither you and I can understand any Thai language, <laughs> what would you have said to Pawn Tip in that uh, time out there? Uh, what I would have said is now she's on the side with her, where she has to drift with her, and I would have said, you know, <laughs> not to do that. <laughs> uh, I would have said uh, uh, she needs to try and keep the attack and try and keep the net as much as possible. Sometimes she can play the back call, but mostly keeping the the shuttle downwards. Uh, she doesn't have to hit with power all the time, but she's gonna have to keep the attack because else she's just gonna be uh, forced a lot from uh, from Wang, who can now pretty much use as much power as she wants, and and the shuttle won't go out on the back. But it's 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 a thing and. It's a thing that you just have to accept it's going to be really, really hard. You know, when you're standing on the side where you have the drift with you, it's going to be really, really hard because you can't use the backcourt that much. That's why it's so impressive to see Wang we saw yesterday and we're seeing it today. When she was on that side, she still used the clears and it was not going out. See that? She's been forced. And that's that's good. One, three. Well, it makes me wince just to watch a player try and play around the headshot from that height as Wang Shuxian did there. How they have the flexibility in their backs is beyond me. <laughs> that's why I learned to backhand. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three. using it back home now. Yeah, and she's and you see using all yeah. four corners, yeah. corners as well, isn't she? She's so much four, under pressure constantly, see Pawn Tip. She's constantly under pressure. That, of course, means when she's under pressure, she can't hit as hard as she wants because if she does that, she's going to go out on the drift side that she has. Mm. Therefore, it's difficult control, and therefore she plays a little bit too short. And Wang is only waiting for that chance. That was going long. Ah. No? Remember the drift. It's a good 
running. Yeah. Oh. You can just see how it's, it's, in, it's in Wang's favor. When the game is like this, it's in Wang's favor. She's just waiting for Pawn to, to be really under pressure on the back court, and then she comes in with these drop shots. We saw the same thing yesterday also against Ratana, which who, on that side yesterday got battled. I think she only got 10 points. So. It's a big, big task for Pawn Tip now come back into this match. She certainly found her form again, has Wang Xiaoxian. Man, how lovely to see her back playing to her very best again. Not that you'd think that if you're a Thailand fan. <laughs> 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 Not if you're a lady singles player. <laughs> you don't really enjoy seeing this, but we enjoy it. It's always good to see when. It wasn't just the technique of playing the cross court block, it was the instinctive awareness. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> Magical. But Pontip's doing everything she can. She's really, you know, yeah. she's trying, just can't, can't do anything. Look at that. She's forced, constantly forced to do something. But this is also, what I like with this is we're also seeing the tactical gifts of a player. We're seeing somebody who's using the drift. about seeing players being beaten quite easily and, you know, big def deficit in the scoreline. But the attitude of the players, the attitude here is good. She's still giving it everything. She's, she's moving really quickly. She's, uh, it's just that her opponent is playing better at the Yeah, moment. and the shots she's doing. Yeah. Well, Wang is at the top of her game right now. Maybe against another player like we saw yesterday. It works. Yeah. So, so... This is really tough for Pawn Tip because yeah. she's play she's not playing bad. She's no. you know the shots she's using. And the last three, four rabbits we saw her just hitting it out or wide. And that's because she's forced to make it even better shots. Two play. Yeah, uh, that's nice. And that's what she needs, as I said, you need she needs to keep it downwards. She doesn't have to. Yeah hit for the lines all the time and then just accepts he's gonna gonna have to hit a few times. Uh, you can see there Bang hitting it pretty hard and it still still lands just at where the double service line is. 
Look at that. That's how much she has. So how much power she can use in her clears. She's feeling the need to hit the lines because yeah. her opponent's been getting so much back and getting it back with interest. But that's what I said. She needs to accept that it's going to be hard work, so she yeah. can't hit for the lines. She has to keep it down and then wait for the chance to come. She can't go for winners. It has no, it's, it's not going to work. And Oh, fantastic again. I, and that, that's the area of the game where I think... It also surprised Rajanok yesterday that suddenly there was somebody doing something at the net. Uh, back. Um, little tricky. Little tricky shots, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's difficult to see how Pontip is supposed to come back in this match. No. But I would be very fascinated if we had a Wang Shuxiang Li Shui women's singles final because, of course, would be very interesting. Li Shui in essence, took Wang Shuxiang's place at the London Olympic Games and then won the gold medal. That could be very interesting. I'd enjoy that's that. A, that's a game in the game. Yes. <laughs> We can't get ahead of ourselves. But what she's doing right now, of course, is very important for her. She's proven to the Chinese Federation that she is beating the other players. Yeah. They don't look for her to beat the Chinese players. Mm. They are looking for her to beat the other. Uh, they're looking for her to beat the other countries. Mm. And that's the vital point for her. Um, I think that was the reason why she wasn't picked for the Olympics, because she lost to other countries. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I don't think there's any question. So this this victory yesterday, not yesterday, sorry. Yeah, yesterday and this victory today is more important for her than winning tomorrow. Yeah. Match points have arrived. 20, match point four. Use that some more. I'm sorry, it's a little bit late now, but some of these shots keeping it down. Oh. Okay. Well, a class above today, to be honest, Wang Shushan. Uh, little notes in the notebooks. Tactics we gave today work perfectly. We'll use them again. 21-13, 21-5 in just 31 minutes. This is the final rally. Always very satisfying when a match is won on a winner, I always think. 
look at the delight for one Shu Xian. Shows how much it means to her. Yeah. So she's safely through to the final tomorrow. Well, this is the Super Series standings at the moment as far as the Super Series finals to be staged in Malaysia next month. And top of the pile is the world number.